Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading for uh, mid-June 2023. We're just going to jump right in here and see what is going on for you. You have this Miracles card and this Refuge card, so I feel there clearly could be some sort of miracle coming in for you. I think that in your last reading or the reading before that, um, you had the Miracles or Endless card with me, so there definitely could be um, you know, some miracles coming in for you. Uh, for some of you, I feel that this could just be feeling, um, you know, it's like you're getting a break, you know, <laughs> and uh, or a vacation. And, you know, a break or a vacation could be a little bit of a miracle for you, or it could be, you know, it could definitely feel like a miracle, basically. So I kind of feel like some of you, it's like, you know, like I said, it's like a break, a vacation, some time for yourself or some time to heal. And, uh, you know, that's kind of what I'm getting here, Scorpio. Uh, you have the Queen of Cups, the Four Swords, and the Devil in this row. So I feel for some of you, you could be healing from something toxic or something uh, that took up a lot of your energy. So, you know, that's what you could be letting go of here. I feel like maybe your past, you know, the past several years basically have been really, um, you know, all about you focusing on what you want to put your energy into, Scorpio. Um, <laughs> you know, it's kind of funny because uh, I'm pretty sure I said this to you recently as well. It's like, you know, I'm wondering if some of you have really been, you know, dabbling over the past few years. And it's like you could have tried multiple jobs, multiple businesses. Um, you could have traveled or moved a lot or, you know, things like that, you know, it, it, you know, trying new things, basically. And so I kind of get that energy. I, I feel like this is you here, uh, Scorpio, the Queen of Cups. You know, it's like, I know every reader and their mother reads her as cancer, but, um, you know, uh, I do read her as cancer sometimes, but, um, you know, I read her as Scorpio. Even in the Golden Tarot, for example, uh, she, uh, in the Golden Tarot, she is Scorpio. She has a scorpion on her card in the Golden Tarot. So I've always read her as you, and it doesn't matter what gender you are either. Um, you know, I think this is just how you're showing up in the reading. And, um, you know, Queen of Cups, she really kind of values value. <laughs> uh, I know that's like a, uh, you know, that doesn't make sense, but she really values things that bring value into her life and um, things that kind of increase her feelings of value as well. And so if we go this way, you go to the four of wands, the judgment card, um, you know, this could be marriage, of course, and we do have lo the lovers, king and queen of cups here. There definitely could be a divine counterpart coming in for you. But I feel like the four of wands is more talking about freedom because we have Uranus and Taurus right now. The four of wands is the card of freedom in the tarot or being set free. And, um, you know, I feel like you're kind of like committing to things that bring more value into your life. This could be like careers, businesses. Um, it could just be things that you own as well. Like you could be very focused on, you know, I kind of feel that like you're very focused on value. You have the four swords here. So maybe you're going through some healing. It's almost like it's a collection phase for you. That's literally the words that I'm getting here. You know, you've been maybe dabbling or kind of jumping around for the past few years. And it's like now the universe wants you to kind of like sit back, relax and go through all the things that you've been through, go through all the experiences you've had and ask yourself, what do I value? It's just that simple. <laughs> and then uh, again, I think the reading is very simple because I feel like it's saying with that four wands, like in the very near future, maybe this month, right? I feel like the universe is going to ask you to commit to some things that you that bring you value. Uh, you have the um, devil here. I definitely feel that you've dealt with some toxic energy. I don't know. Every single water sign has had the devil, which is pretty interesting. I feel like water signs in general maybe has have dealt with like lying, cheating, stealing. But, um, you know, as I said at the beginning of the year, I feel like water signs are entering into a time where if you do want a positive relationship, um, then there cl clearly could be something much, much better than what you've experienced in the past coming in for you. Could be another water sign for sure. Um, but we're going to clarify and see what else wants to come up. But it looks very balanced. I mean, literally, you have this card that says true love will find you in the end. So clearly there's like true love coming in for you if you want it if you don't want love um you know and even if you do again i feel like you're committing to something with that four of wands well here you go with the queen of cups you have the ace of swords definitely a victory it's like this is a one-way ticket to victory is what i feel like saying <laughs> um you know i feel like just uh kind of telling your own truth the ace of swords is a card of the truth but really it's like your own truth meaning you don't have to tell anyone the truth but just by living and uh, doing the things that are your truth that then you are living the truth it's like when we do things we hate, we are not living in the truth. We are uh, living some sort of lie, trying to convince ourselves that we're you know, meant to drive four hours to work every single day and be miserable in some sort of career working somewhere, right? Um, so 
you know, what I would say here is like some people enjoy it, right? It's like, I always tell people like in the future, I feel like they're going to still be collect uh, uh, corporate jobs and things like that. Some people like that environment, right? And there's nothing wrong with that. We're all different. But, um, you know, for the most part, if you're doing something that you hate, I feel like it's time to do more that you love. The Queen of Cups values her feelings. She only does what she loves to do and nothing else. So, and when we do that, that's what we get. And I feel like you need to kind of, um, you know, I, I think you kind of need to live your truth here. With the Four of Swords, you have the Three of Wands. What are you waiting for? It's like you have all the answers. <laughs> I feel like you have all the answers you need. It's like, like I said, it's a collection phase. I feel like you've been in this collection phase. It's kind of weird. It's like, like I said, it's like I see all this information coming into your head from like all the experiences you've had over the several years, like dabbling, uh, trying different, you know, businesses or careers or different lovers or like whatever it is, doesn't matter, right? I feel like it's a bunch of things, really. And um, now it's like you've been crunching the numbers. Everything's been coming into your head. And now it's time to commit. And with the devil, you have the hangman here. Uh, I would be careful. You know, I feel like some of you maybe have had a person that made you wait, you know, just like kind of wasted your time. And I would definitely be careful of that. But for the most part, I mean, look at the rest of this reading. It looks to me like you are just focused on new love in the first place. I don't even think you're, uh, I don't think you're focused on old love at all. Period. <laughs> uh, next, you have um, in the area of what you need to hear right now, you have this parrot spirit. It says, watch your words. Yes, our words are very important uh, at this time. You could be manifesting very quickly. You also have the scarab beetle. It says magic works through you. So, you know, again, I feel like you could be manifesting things very, very quickly. Uh, probably the most important manifestation card you have here is right here, the Ten of Cups. You have the Four of Wands and the Lovers. The Ten of Cups is a card of manifestation because... Uh, these people are standing in the real world, but they have those 10 cups above their head. So the card itself says that they are still having to deal with all the challenges and difficulties of the real world, but they're choosing to be happy. They're choosing what they focus on. And again, based off the astrology, I really, really think that it's like critically important that all of us focus on the positivity, not on the million things that are going to be negative over you know, between now and 2027 but probably till 2033, really. And so we need to be positive, even if it doesn't look like it. Again, I promise you, the people who are super positive, it, it's like you won't even notice. <laughs> you probably won't even have to worry about the things that are going on because you will be led in the right direction. This is why I encourage this so much, you know? Um, you know, I think the people that focus on the negativity are gonna get swept away in it. So I would just be careful of that. Definitely, I feel that there is a very fulfilling connection coming in for you to that King of Cups. Could be another water sign, doesn't have to be. You know, it could just be someone very kind of emotionally stable. I keep saying that to me, the King of Cups comes up a lot for everyone right now. And what I would say is that I think sometimes we are more attracted to like an archetype of a person. So I feel like everyone right now is going to be more attracted to a King of Cups type person, a person who is in control of their emotions, a person who isn't afraid to make a move as well. Um, um, you know, I, I, I just said this to Cancer. And I'm going to say it to you. It's like, I look at tarot as a spectrum. It's like, to me, the cards fall on a spectrum. And I, I, you know, I read energy. And so that's why I don't read reversals. And, you know, really, I always tell people, if you pay attention, I give reverse meanings all the time. Number one. Number two, um, you know, I think that things fall on a spectrum here. And the King of Cups on like the most positive side of things, he's not a coward. He really kind of is willing to go into the unknown. He has this boat behind him here. And that boat represents like go, going into the unknown. It kind of represents a time where our ancestors would get into boats and they wouldn't know if they were going to hit land or not. So, you know, very, they can be, you know, can cups, not necessarily like bold and assertive, but they really follow their heart as well. And they're not afraid to take risks that are going to improve their life. And they also don't care what's going on around them. That's why I feel the King of Cups type person is going to be very attractive right now. Because again, we're entering into a time of chaos. So obviously, if you meet a person who just isn't worried about all the chaos, then you're going to be, you know, obviously, it's going to make you feel more secure and probably be a better person for you to be with. So again, it could be any sign. But I feel like it's someone who can navigate the choppy waters. You have the four wands here. Definitely could be marriage uh, coming in for you. I mean, you have this, the lovers. You know, so many cards of marriage and love um, definitely could be love. I'm also getting the word luck, weirdly enough, on the four of wands. Like, I feel like there's very lucky, you know, I feel like there are very lucky opportunities coming in for you. I also feel like you're seeing the difference between like a past person and a new person. You know, I feel like a, this past person over here was always very negative, you know, always very, always like you know, telling us the same story. I feel like this is why you probably left this person as well. It's like, if you have a person 
you know, I don't know how to say what I want to say. <laughs> it's like, you have a person who always wants to be a victim. It's like, you know, if someone tells you a story about something, you know, maybe something that happened in their childhood or whatever, it's like, okay, you know, you know, maybe they they just want to tell me this, right? If they say it once, right? If they just tell you the story one, one time. But it's like, I feel like some of you are dealing with a person where it's like, every time you talk to them, they were telling the same story of something that they went through or whatever. And I think that's probably why you walked away or they walked away maybe, but you know, whatever, it doesn't matter. I feel like that's what you're seeing. It's like, you're seeing that truth. I feel like a, this new person is much more balanced. Maybe this person was emotionally unstable. The other weird thing I'm getting is that you could be attracting the same sign, you know, whatever this past person was, you know, if they were, you know, a, a Capricorn, a Pisces, get, that we have Capricorn and Pisces there. They could be, you know, like a Gemini or something like that. It's almost like you're attracting the same sign, but the complete opposite. <laughs> you know, it's like this person is the opposite version of whatever this person was. So, you know, again, definitely could be attracting something very positive in love. If you're not looking for love, I feel that you could be um, being brought to some sort of crossroads here. I actually feel like you are at a crossroads, Scorpio, just in general where you have a choice to make. And it's like, you know, I feel like you need to pick the new path. And I also feel like you need to pick your truth, right? With that ace of swords. Again, your truth might go against the grain. I have a feeling it, it, this is not accurate. You know, this is not uh, accurate astrology or anything like that. But I just have a feeling that water signs are really being encouraged to, again, go against the grain. Um, yeah, you have the three of swords here. You might break people's hearts by um, making this change, right? Your mom's heart or something like that. Like maybe your mom wanted you to grow up and be a, you know, I don't know, a doctor or something like that. And you could be like, no, I'm going to go start my business or whatever the case may be. Um, but, you know, again, I feel like you really need to live your truth, not someone else's. And, you know, that's like the most important thing that's showing up here. Uh, with the lovers, you have the four cups. I I love this four cups. This is from the White Sage Tarot. And you can see that those three cups are pouring into that one cup. So it's like a person who really overflows, you know, who really has like more than enough to pour into you. And so again, this four cups I really like in that deck. With the four wands, you have the world. It could involve travel or moving for some of you, but um, you know, really these are two cards of completion. The four wands can represent like wrapping up a project or completing something. The world, we go in the major arcana from the fool to the world, and then we start all over again as the fool. So it's like, it's almost like you're entering into your new world in this reading. Um, it's gonna be very different, and I feel like it's a collection of things that you have experienced already, but it's like, you're no longer dabbling. I don't know, I, I don't even think that's the right word, <laughs> you know, here, Scorpio, but that's like the word I'm getting, and that's the best way I can describe what I'm feeling as well. It's like, you're no longer dabbling. I feel like you're finally, and you're not settling either. It's like, I actually feel like you're doing the things in all areas of life that you wanna do. With the Ten of Cups, you have the Five of Cups. Again, I would be careful of the past person. You do have the Judgment card here. Um, the Judgment card is one of the only cards in the tarot that I personally consider an ex coming back. And uh, again, I'm like one of the only readers on YouTube that says, do not go back to the past. So, you know, I would never suggest going back to the past in the first place, but you know, it is showing up here. But again, I would suggest, obviously this person was like toxic and obviously there's something much better coming in for you. Uh, you have this card, here you go. You have this card that says, don't dwell on what might be on the other side of that closed door, the past. Focus on the future. It says, true love will find you in the end. So again, I feel like something new, something better. It's like you're attracting the total opposite of what you are with, you know? And it's kind of weird because it's like they're the same in some way. You know, I, I said earlier that it could be like the same sign, you know, or something like that, but the total opposite. You know, it could also be, you know, there's some sort of similarity here. I don't know. It keeps popping into my head. Maybe this person, maybe you meet a person who had like the same job as your past person, or maybe they have very similar upbringing or something, but it's almost like you, you saw the low vibe version and now you're getting the high vibe version. So, and maybe that's why you kind of do want to peek, um, you know, into the past, right? I've been there. It's like no judgment here. There, there are people that I've left that where it's like, I, I know that I would never go back, but I still want to like peek, right? I'm, I'm a creepy Pisces anyway, so it doesn't matter. But what I would say here is, you know, it's like, I feel like this is saying like, the reason you feel a connection is because, you know, this is like the low vibe version of what you really are meant to be with. So, you know, I feel like you're about to get like the high vibe version of what you are truly supposed to be with. <laughs> and I feel like it could be true love. If it's not love, it's something you are going to love. You have the justice card, the nine of cups and the judgment card. So you could be, you know, justice and judgment together. You could be seeing someone get their karma again. The uh, judgment card really represents entering into a new life. The coffin is their old life. Outside the coffin is their new life. So I feel like for a lot of you, you're choosing to kind of like turn your back to the past here. 
we have the Queen of Swords. She has her back to the past in, uh, you know, right here. So I kind of feel like you're turning your back to the past in general. You have the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is a card of wish fulfillment. So I feel like there's some sort of wish coming in for you. And, um, you know, I really feel there's like an overflowing energy. Again, if you're attracting a person, a new person, I feel like they really give, you know, they're, they, and that's probably the thing that will stand out to you is that they're very abundant, very, you know, they kind of have that overflowing abundant energy about them and they really want to give to a situation. Uh, you have the justice card here. I feel like you feel like you're getting justice or you're getting karmic justice. I feel like you feel good here, um, Scorpio. It's like, you feel like you're balancing out. I also feel like you feel just balanced in general. Um, like I said, all that collecting energy is coming to an end. I keep feeling that. And now you're able to, you know, maybe live your life and make some better decisions. Let's see. Uh, with the Justice card, you have the Strength card. This is something you've been working on for a long time. Strength is about inner strength. It's about, you know, normally the lion on this card. The lady, she has her hands in the lion's mouth, and that lion is tucking its tail between its legs. So, like, this is something she has to do every single day. She has to tame her inner voice, her inner demons, the things that, um, you know, tell her she can't do something or, you know, whatever the case may be. So I feel for a lot of you, this is about like listening to your inner voice and, you know, that's what I, that, and also kind of uh, conquering your inner demons, uh, which it looks like you're doing. Uh, with the Nine of Cups, you have the Page of Swords, definitely a new person, I feel. Um, either you have your eye on this person or they have their eye on you. Take it how it resonates. Uh, it could be a Cancer. It's funny that I brought up the Cancer reading, but like I said, it could be any sign. It's just a general reading. But if you have your eye on someone, I would go for it here, Scorpio. Uh, with the Judgment card, you have the Knight of Swords. Yes, do not go back to the past. Knight of Swords, normally, I'll show you, he's normally going this way, towards the past. And, you know, in this deck, the White Sage Terror is going towards the, the future, but... What I would say is that I feel like there could be a person who's like rushing in, you know, from the past. And um, I feel like this person's no good. <laughs> so no no rushing back to the past. I feel like this person just doesn't, you know, I feel like they cause a lot of problems. I feel like they have caused a lot of problems for you. And, you know, I feel like it's time to be happy because in your last row here, you have like my favorite card in this deck, which is this happy, happy card. She, is, you know, this lady here, she's like channeling happiness into the top of her head. So, you know, I feel you literally could be entering into a time where you are literally channeling happiness and good things are happening because of it. You have this why card and I would ask you, do you really need to know why? Again, this last row is meant to represent the good stuff. So it's going to be good no matter what. But I will say, it's like, do you really want to know about, you know, it's kind of weird because I, I have a mess. Like if you're dealing, if you've dealt with this person that I described earlier, it's like, I feel like you already know everything that happened. It's like, do you really need closure or, you know, whatever from the situation? I say probably not. I do feel that some of you need to uh, make sure that you keep learning about new opportunities as well with that Y card. You have the uh, King of Cups, Three of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords. Again, I feel like this could be a person. Three of Pentacles is a person who really wants to work on a team. So I feel like you could be, you know, it's one of my favorite love cards or, you know, coming up in a love reading because it can represent a person who wants to work together and so I definitely feel it could be like this King of Cups type person. Uh, for some of you, this could be distant, uh, you know, but again, King of Cups is a card of the home as well. The other interesting thing I'm getting here is that if you're meeting a person from a distance, I feel like they've already been planning on moving. Like, I feel like there's some sort of like serendipity type thing going on here where it's like they've already been planning to move where you live and they didn't even know like th that you existed there or whatever. It's like however this happens, right? So there's like something weird about that happening, uh, popping into my head here with the King of Cups or maybe they're not going to move exactly where you live, but maybe they're moving like a lot closer or something like that. I don't know, popped into my head. Um, I also feel that you could be, again, this could be you vibing, you know, high with that King of Cups. Now you have the Three of Pentacles here. It's like, where can you do a good job, right? <laughs> I, I don't know why I have that question popping into my head, but remember, we were talking about needing to make sure that you don't do things that you hate to do, which, you know, I think too many people have, you know, suffered for too many years doing things they don't want to do. And, you know, I feel like, you know, of course, in life, there are always going to be certain things that we have to do that we don't want to do. But, you know, we don't have to suffer at a job any longer. You know, there are other things that we can do. And I'm not saying it's going to be easy, but it's possible, right? It's like, I basically read tarot for a living. I have other businesses, but you know, it's like I could do this for a living and, and make, you know, be have a very happy living if I wanted to only do this, right? Um, and I fell on my head when I was 10 years old. So, and after that, I started failing school, never passed school after that, G complete dummy, right? So if I can do it, you can do it, Scorpio, as I always say. And, um, you know, 
I really believe that you can do it, <laughs> whatever, whatever you want to do. It's not easy, but if you put in the work, you'll make it happen. Uh, you have the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords has her back to the past. So again, I feel like you see that you have to focus like forward. You have to focus on the future now. Uh, let's see. Uh, with the King of Cups, you have the Ace of Pentacles. Yes, this is a huge opportunity right here. If this is a person, I I'm telling you right now, this person's like a gold nugget. I feel like this person is pure gold. Um, you know, just like a really good person. So, you know, if you're thinking about love, I would, you know, go for it is what I'm trying to say. Um, if this is, um, you know, again, this could be a, the collection, right, of things that you want to do with your life, everything that you figured out you want your life to look like. Ace of Pentacles would just say nurture it, give it energy, all those ideas, and they will grow. Uh, here you go. With the Three of Pentacles, you have the Queen of Cups, like, you know, divine counterparts, divine counterparts right here. This person wants to work together. I know that for a fact. I feel like this will be very fulfilling. You know, it's like this person, the other weird thing that's popping into my head is like, I feel like you want to do things for this person. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> it's like sometimes, you know, it's like, um, you know, it's like maybe normally you would get annoyed by a person if you had to, you know, pick up their dirty laundry or something like that. I feel like this person, it's like you want to. You know, it's like, and I think that's a clue for you that you actually have desire for this person. And again, I'm not saying this is right or wrong or anything like that. Someone always comes at me and they're like, how dare you say I have to pick up my husband's dirty laundry or whatever. I'm like, okay, don't. Like, I don't care. Do whatever you want. Um, but what I'm saying here is that whoever I'm reading for that's getting this, um, it's like you want, I'm not saying you will have to do those things. I'm just saying you will want to. And it's like, that should be a clue to you. Like, I feel like that's a clue that you actually want to be with this person. And it, you know what I mean? It's like you actually care or something. I don't know. It's a weird message. Take how it resonates. Uh, with the uh, Queen of Swords, you have the Nine of Wands. Yes. Nine of Wands is like the Wounded Warrior. But um, again, it is coming up in the good stuff. And, um, you know, what I would say here is that the Nine of Wands is a card of experimentation. You know, uh, you know, I, I think that it's really saying you're not giving up on something that you really want or, you know, some sort of experience that you actually want in your life. And that the Nine of Wands says try as many ways as you possibly can to accomplish something you want. Uh, we're gonna pull five main themes now here, Scorpio. And that's gonna be that. You have this Valley card, it says deep personal strength. You have the strength card in peace that assures success. Yeah, I feel like this is a place that you're getting to is like, you know, major success. You have this uh, tower, it says solid foundation with success, solid foundation, success with effort. Yes, there is going to need to be effort here. So you're going to have to put the work in. People always like leaving comments as well. Like they're like, oh my God, you said I was going to be successful and I haven't done anything, but I haven't been successful. I'm like, yeah, exactly. It's like tarot, you know, my major problem with tarot is that it's not like fortune telling, like people think. Like to me, tarot just points out opportunities that you have to put the work into. So it's like tarot's not going to predict your future necessarily. It's not going to really, you know, it can point out opportunities, but you have to take advantage of these opportunities. So, you know, that's what I would say there. It's like my one main problem with people, you know, watching tarot is like thinking that it's like magical when it isn't. You have this funnel card. It says period of frustration, lessons to be learned. I feel like this is what you've been through. It's not really frustration. You know, think about a funnel. A funnel is like focusing in on things. So it's like you were dabbling out here and now it's like focusing in to like one thing. So I feel like you're getting more focused on like what actually brings you joy and happiness and what experiences would bring you joy and happiness and all that other stuff. You have the scales card. It says, keep your life in balance. Didn't we say that? <laughs> I think we said that with the justice card. It's like you're balancing things out. Uh, and finally, you have the box. It says, you will receive a gift. I feel like it's a person if it's a gift. Um, you know, it could be something else, but this looks really good here, Scorpio. I love this. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your month.